You putting your cell phone at him. You like that? Yeah. I played you some of my, my new hits. No, you put your cell phone. I like the last joint with uh Me? Okay. Me, Trapple Ross, and Brick. I just played you the me and Trapple Ross. Trap, we, try, we, try, he went, we've been big. Bro, we have one coming out. Flacco, Trapple Ross, me and Brick. Crazy. It's going to rock and shock the nation. Um, Can I respectfully say something? Somehow I think it's going to be anti-Brick, baby. You be floating in the yacht. And then you keep throwing bricks in them. And shit starts to sink the shit. <laughs> right? You didn't gave brick three, four of them, right? Are you doing a lyrical exercise right now? You're no, saying I'm, throw the bricks on the yacht and it sinks? Bars. Pretty good. Yeah. Right? Listen. You gave brick three or four. Van Lathan told me to take myself off the track because brick made me sound bad. He's hating. He's a black nationalist. Listen, yeah, I don't think he's. You know, you should do one with, and you, you old nephew, a real interview. Who? Zoe Osama. I, I just hit him up. I texted. But did you remember the punk shit you did? I texted and emailed him an empty verse for him to potentially get on. No response. You don't remember what you did to him? I, what did I do? Will you tell him? You brought him on as a surprise guest, and I wasn't ready to do an interview with him, so I basically kind of ignored him because I didn't know what the f but to talk to him about. But this is the thing. He had a big song with you that went up on your channel or interview, right? So I figured you knew him. He showed growth from the last time y'all had did y'all interaction. Uh -huh. He's hot in the city then and super hot now. Right. Right? He's a very respectful individual. You don't hear Zoe Osama's name tied to no BS. But that's why I need to know. I need time to be able to research because the fact that he's hot, he's got a big song, that's not... An no, interview. no, not interviews hot. have to be of substance. Not, no, what do you mean, bro? From the first time you interviewed him, he was like, "I never interviewed him." Well, you guys put up a uh, we put up a song, and so, I, I hung out with him in the studio before. Okay, yeah. great. He's three hundred times bigger on this independent level. Like, check his number. He's doing crazy. And I sent him a verse, and he didn't. He didn't yeah, but he didn't respond. That because, bro, you start saying a bunch of like gay stuff to him. I'm not going to say any gay stuff on his. Although, when I did Nephew the song... a real 89th Street East Coast, bro. I did the song with Big Sad, and I noticed Big Sad standing right next to me saying, we in Mechanicsville and we looking for a trans... I'm like, bro, you could have just mouthed along to that. Zoe, Big Sad, what's going on? <laughs> Zoe Osama is not Big Sad, respectfully. Big Sad's way bigger. No. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Now, you're out your dumbass mind. First of all, he ain't way bigger with the music. For sure, Second he's of all, with the music. his numbers ain't competing with Zoe. Yeah, they are. They're Third of all, him. he ain't more hood and more official than Zoe Sama. This well, is a fact. I don't know anything about that. And I ain't trying that, to but... start nothing between them. I'm just being what it is. We're going to do a monthly listener check. Pull it up. Let's do it. Zoe. No, pull, up, pull up Zoe's last project, Zoe what it did. Osama. There's some crazy numbers. 735K for Zoe Zoe Osama. Mm hmm. Hopefully I don't take an L here. Duh. Yeah, 174,000. <laughs> okay? Zoe Sama, 735,000. Big Sad, 174,000. <laughs> you don't even want to go to their top five. You can just scroll up and see their top five streaming songs. My assumption. Hold on. Look, let's go it. Let's go. 3 million. 1.3. No, no. Huh? Uh, uh, okay, he's look. got another one. 3, Three million. 4, 5. Let's, let's ride around about... Six. Okay. Six million. Now back to Zosama. Six million, right? Well, for sure, Zosama's biggest no, no, song no. is bigger. Yeah, 35 million. Look, we got one song, 7.5 million. Another song, 6.2, 5.3, 1.6, 7, 13, 18, 19, 20 million versus six million. I stand Put corrected. Put some respect I stand on the hooster's name. His numbers. Straight out to nephew Zosama, a real 89th Street Mary boy. I got to give it to him. Straight up. That's nephew. But I'm saying you kind of like, you, you owe him some respect, bro. That's why I sent him And when rest. I brought him up, see, I was already up on his growth, right? And I, I knew he had did, like, something big with y'all. And I know you because, like, I know you come from, like, that SoundCloud area where you watch certain artists. So I was figuring when I popped up with him because he's a local. And I know you you be up on your research. But I feel like you now understand because every time you've brought a guest on since then, you've given me ample warning. What, what I'm saying, if he would have been from another state and, like, somebody I knew about, cool. But I'm knowing our locals, Adam, you stay up on our locals, bro. Even my best friend, if I'm going to interview them, 
I need time to get ready for the interview. Because even if you're my best buddy, there's stuff that I'm just not going to have stored up in my head. I need time to be able to get ready for any interview. Watch this. Then why didn't you just let me run point and you, you're skilled enough, to, you can play point. Because, can, okay, I'm going to show you what you no, doing no. in an interview is like. So I noticed you've been really doing your thing out here. Can you tell me about uh, what it's like to be an artist who's out here doing their thing? Well, I that, noticed you got a lot of good music, and I noticed that you got over a million views on this song. That's pretty good. Uh, a million, that's a large number. Okay, well, let me tell you what you do. What you do. I don't say nothing. Hey, Roger, how big is your dick? Hey, do you have hair on your nuts? Hey, I thought about pulling your nipples. Is that cool? I don't say nothing to you about your way of interviewing, so why are you tripping my way of interviewing? I you just, know what I, I know do? how I want to do an interview. Okay, but listen, this is the Adam and Wax show. If Adam is running point, I lay back. You brought uh, Trap Trap Lord on here, right? Right. And you told me, yo, Lush is coming. Cool. I'm just going to I'm roll with the punches. Yeah. I'm just not really a roll with the punches type of interviewer. Well, maybe you need to strengthen that. And the only way you can strengthen that is to put yourself in that situation and then get stronger at it. But if I'm bringing somebody up here that you are kind of familiar with. Yeah, that's a homie. I've with him. He's very talented. If I'm spending three, four minutes engaged with him, right, Mm -hmm. I know what you could do on that phone, right? You can grab a question or two to shoot at him. My my other thing is that, well, number one, I'm not not doing internet research mid-interview. No, but I'm saying I took it personal because that's like family. Right. You met him like six months ago, but it's family? No, that whole neighborhood, Deco. All the homies over there, like that's like my extended family for real. Like that. The block. reason why I need warning is because I want to show him the respect he deserves if I'm going to have a sit down with him. And then also so on top of that, it takes you for him to get it. This is my other thing. So I can't interview nobody. If we, you just have to tell me in advance so I can be ready, so that I can do my part as one of the greatest well, podcasters to have ever lived. But on. then this is the other thing. On this podcast, we don't really like sit and interview people. I don't think that's what people want. I think they want to see no. us talk about topics. They want to see engaged. us go back and forth. They want to see us take our dicks and smush them together. See, there you go. That's exactly. your style. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't jumped up and hit you in your mouth. It's I'm called, supposed to have it's called I have it. docking. So, are you I, circumcised? Listen, listen, we don't have them type of questions. Hmm. Right? What I ask, listen. So, but I'm saying is if nephew coming up here, right? And I was like, yo, what is we want to talk about? Like, I got an upcoming project. I just did this. I just did that. I just dropped a song, did a million in a week. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to key on some of the things he want to talk about, right? And then I'm expecting you to, like, pop some subjects in there, and then maybe we can get him engaging, right? That's all I'm saying. So now comes the time where you send him something, and we would have showed it. If you would have showed him some respect on that interview, he would have done. I'm going to tell you why. I can show you on my phone. Three weeks ago, Frisco Chuck sends me a song for one of the incredible artists, right? Mm-hmm. Whack, can I get Zoe Sam on it? I sent it to Zoe on a Friday night. I woke up Saturday morning. Files was back. Song was back. Really? Swear to God. But I'm just saying, so I'm going to reach out to Nephew and say, yo, Adam want to bring you back up to the you know platform. I know what he going to tell me, Adam. Listen. Listen to me. No, I was going to say any gay shit? This, that's a real East Coast crib for real. Okay. Please. Because he's going to ask me this. He had a clip up from our podcast on his Instagram, but I think he took but it down. please refrain from any of that type of talk. Okay. You know, I can rap without saying the gay shit. Please. For the most part, I do. I already catch the flag, but that's your character. I don't trip. But I can't, I can't rap without saying a bunch of crazy sexual shit. No, uh, you can rap. We don't care about what you rap about. His bars going to be his bars, right? He going to compliment the song. On my new joint, I say the pussy's dripping cheese, but it ain't no fondue. You ever had fondue? Yeah, but we don't. We're not gonna use that terminology with nephew. That's disrespect with him. What cheese? Listen, is man, cheese what I, a gang dish or something? Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. For the East Coast Crips? Yeah. Listen, we're not doing that. You doing too? Hey, Adam, <laughs> I, mean, cut I, the, I honestly have no idea. Well, that we're not crazy. talking about that on it. Jesus Christ! We just don't. I feel it, like it, I could it, Google that, and that's not true. No, we're we're not Google. Adam, please don't. What are you doing? <laughs> Leave that alone, <laughs> bro. No, we don't need to be doing that. I can do it on my phone. Too. Yeah, do it on your phone. We don't need to be doing that. Like that's my well, extended family it. over there. That's my extended. Stop saying it, for real, bro. That's my extended family over there, bro. You finna kill off all chances of getting him up here. I mean, I'm just if I'm to... telling you, it's disrespectful to him. Leave it alone. Gee whiz. 
This why you need your ass whooped. Oh whoop. shit! Do not oh, say that. Oh, that is kind of a clever name, though. Yeah, lie, yeah, yeah, don't don't say that. The rhyme's pretty good. Okay. Don't say that. That's my extended family. Oh, over I can't here. believe it just accidentally landed. Deco, my man, youngster from Six Dudes. We don't do that. You know that busters do that. I like, just wanted to talk about fun. They got they got homeboys from certain places. And then when they talk to them, they one way, and they jump on the phone with other cats, they another way. But I got people I got love and respect for, right? I eliminate all that because I want to be able to talk to them, face, shake their hand, knowing that I've always respected them. I would like to offer to take Zoe Osama out for some fondue, and I would like for you to come with me. No, we're going we gonna to keep it simple. They have chocolate as well. I don't even know what the hell that is, bro. Do you really know? I'm from Bacoima. I don't know what the hell. What Honestly, is a fondue? What I haven't had it in about 20 years. What the hell is that, bro? Check it out. Fond That's some type of cake or a dessert or something. Fondue is a Swiss cheese, a Swiss dish of melted cheese and wine served in a so communal still, pot. So look, you still playing with it. I'm not, I'm just telling you I what it is. I asked you to like stop doing that, bro. It's pretty impossible Adam. to talk about fondue Adam, without acknowledging that it involves Adam, the C listen, word. Adam, listen to me. The C word. Adam, listen C-H- to me. I'm okay. asking you to stop doing that, please. The melting pot. This is the one that I went to back in the day. It was you gonna I, keep doing it, right? I'm not gonna keep saying, it, but this is the kill it, yo, bro, kill that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, for real though, bro. Ooh, look, you can get this braised. cats over there that can live and die for me, bro. Braised for real. short rib, summer sausage, grilled bratwurst. Where's the nearest Please location? Refrain from doing the okay, other I'm, stuff. I'm not. Bro. You're just over. Read your little you're overdoing white it. People fool, but chill out on other stuff. You're bro. overdoing it.